the weather, much like my uh, desire to public speak, is unfavorable today. So we'll keep it short and sweet and uh, keep from rambling on. I've some notes. And... All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Matt Corsi, and I have the honor of being the president of the Graceville Bonds Air Fire Department. On behalf of the men and women of this proud organization, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to each of you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come to this ceremony today. It was, this, it was this week in 1960 that our charter members dedicated the first firehouse to be built in the town of Graceville, obviously sat here for many years. Exactly 10 years later, on May 10th, 1970, the department would hold a groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of a new addition to uh, suit, I'm sorry, to suit the quickly expanding department. Now here we stand together on the same date, exactly 54 years later, about once again, once again about to break ground on the new firehouse that will further our ability to keep up with the modern standards and needs of a rapidly growing department. The journey to get to this day has been no short task, as most of you know. With serious fundraising efforts underway for the last 10 plus years, our building committee has spent countless hours meeting sometimes two to three times a month, designing a building that is physically responsible, suits our current and future needs, all while strongly resembling the firehouse that stood in the center of our town for 64 years. I'd like to take this time to introduce and thank the members of our building committee that dedicated an unbelievable amount of time to bring this to fruition. Fire Chief Jason Anthony, Vice President Charlie Palmer, Assistant Chief Robbie Marsh, Assistant Chief Steve McCombs, who was unable to make because he's on family vacation, Firefighter Mason Corsi, uh, our, one of our board of directors, Mike Madison, our other board of director, Chris Marble, Firefighter John Workheiser, and last but not least, our building chairman, Tom Sheehan. I'd also like to thank Dave Gray and Andrew Breeding with Breeding Contractors for the guidance and patience along this journey. Our county commissioners for being huge supporters and advocates of the volunteer fire service in this county. Uh, I'd also like to thank Tom Davis, uh, D, uh, DMS, who did all the site work. Unfortunately, Tom passed, as many of you know, toward the end of our projects. We like to do a moment of silence for him. Like I, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, our department started seriously fundraising efforts about 10 years ago for this project. I would like to thank all our members that put the countless hours planning and working events to raise money for this building. I would like to thank our Vice President Charlie Palmer, who has been absolutely pivotal uh, in heading our fundraising efforts. Ms. Phyllis Black, our treasurer, for not letting a penny go by on account it. Our accountant, Ms. Lane, who's always uh, been there to guide us and done an outstanding job managing our funds the whole time. And lastly, I'd like to say an idea and a set of blueprints are nothing but a dream without funding. But the donors sitting here today have helped turn that dream into a reality for us. Our volunteers sacrifice so much of their free, uh, free time and not so free time, not only protecting the citizens of Queen Anne's County, but also working to raise funds for this building. Your contributions to our building fund have helped ease the burden and stress more than you may ever know. Your donation does not support just the department. It directly impacts the entire community as a whole. The names of the businesses I'm about to read have donated at least $10,000 to our building fund project. Sorry, it's a little windy out here. Uh, Kevin and Allison White, Patricia and Charles Sislin, the Graysonville uh, VFW Post 7464, SHA Graysonville LLC, the Narrows Restaurant, the Queenstown's Lions Club, the Gardens Land Group Incorporated, the Oyster Cove Homeowners Association, Ms. Kathy Snyder, Maryland, uh, Midshore Community Foundation, Maryland Primary Care Physicians, uh, Mr. Robert and Ms. Francis Marsh, Magnum Family Foundation, KRM Development Corporation, Dennis and Helen and Keller, I'm Kerner, I'm sorry, Canaris Venture LLC, Canal and American Legion Post 278, Harris Crab House, John and Judith Harlow, Mr. and Mrs. Bernard Hardesty, 
Fred Frederick Family Foundation, George and Ann Foss, Kristen Fennessy, Wendy and Jeffrey Ersling, Esterling, Elks Lodge number 2576, D. Donato's Property Management, LLC, Dalton Electrical Services Incorporated, Charlie's Bobcat Service, Joseph Candela, Deborah Brown, Benedict A. Andrew, American Legion Post 296, Beach Harbor Campers Co-op, Bay Country Moose Lodge 831, David and Teresa Abramovitis. Before I pass on to the Fire Chief Jason Anthony, I'd like to once again express my sincere gratitude to our donors, every member of our community that has donated and came out to support our dinners and events, and thank each and every one of our members for the hard work that you've put in to get to this point. Good morning. As uh, President Corsi said, my name is Jason Anthony, the Fire Chief of the Great Small Volunteer Fire Department. I've had the distinct honor to be Fire Chief for some time now, and I've been a part of this uh, project uh, since the beginning. Uh, I was going to talk about the history of the Great Small Volunteer Fire Department. Matt, uh, President Corsi, uh, touched on some of that. Back in 1958, the fire department was started by the 36 original charter members. Th that was simply 36 members of this community that saw the need for a firehouse. They got together uh, with really no, no formal plan. They got together, uh, raised funds just like we did to get to where we're at today. Uh, this lot here today looked a lot different 66 years ago. It was a wooded lot. It was covered. There was a lot of hard work dedication and a lot of uh, volunteer time to clear this lot. And as Matt said, in 1960, this firehouse was uh, dedicated. And in 1970, early 70s, the addition was put on. And really, we operated out of that firehouse for 54 years. So you think about that, 54 years of operating out of that original firehouse. Fire trucks have gotten bigger. Our membership has grown. The need to have more uh, gear washers. Uh, gear dryers. Uh, I think our membership knows that that firehouse was uh, busting at the seams. So uh, where we're at today is a proud moment for our fire department. We're going to uh, build a new firehouse that's going to be state of the art. It's going to have the room uh, for all our members to operate. It's going to have the uh, amenities, uh, bunk room, showers, uh, a, a nice kitchen, office space, boardroom space and space for all our apparatus and what this does it'll bring all of our apparatus back into one building uh, for the people that don't know we are operating out of three buildings the the old firehouse the ambulance building and our other pole barn out back here so once we open a new firehouse our operations will be seamlessly put into one building we'll be able to operate out of one building we won't have any duplications of services between a couple buildings. Uh, and it'll provide us storage buildings to grow back into. And uh, it'll, it'll be a state of art uh, firehouse, like I said. Uh, talking about a great small firehouse, our operations, we've been a uh, department that's tried to be innovative and provide our members with the very best uh, tools and appliances and uh, keep them up with the time. Sorry about that. So the operations of the firehouse, we, uh, President Corsi talked about the fundraising. Fundraising has been a, uh, one of the key ingredients to getting us here where we're at today. Uh, the membership here is very dedicated. The, the fundraising hours are very important, but that's also, we got to balance the fundraising with the fire calls and the training and the drills and keeping our members up, up to par with uh, the changing world out there. So uh, I can't say enough about the membership and what they've done and your true dedication uh, to providing the time. Uh, I know we ask a lot and each and every one of our members uh, gives us what they can. Uh, and a lot of members give us a lot of their free time. So this project, uh, in concluding here, this project here is, 
a lot of the members here have put a lot of time in, into this, right? But it's setting our members today and the future members of our department up um, and, and the generations to come. We're setting them up for to have a firehouse that's state of the art that can hold all the apparatus and we can kind of grow into that. And as Matt said, we, we truly, truly appreciate all of the support for our fundraising, the support from the uh, generous donations from the many people that are here today and, and some of the people that were not able to attend. Uh, those donations were, were uh, monumental in getting us to where we're at today. And as I, I said before, our operations, uh, once this is open, all comes back together in one building. Uh, and uh, God willing, with the uh, support of the commissioners, our, our plan eventually is to uh, house uh, a Queen Anne's County medic unit in the old e EMS building, which also will be a, a, a benefit to uh, Graysonville, the citizens and the residents of, of this area. So uh, that's something that's in the uh, uh, future. We're working towards that. And uh, like I said, I just thank each and every one of you for the tremendous amount of support the donations and our membership for the time and energy to get us to where we're at today. Thank you. Now we're going to have some words from Commissioner Phil Dumino. <laughs> no notes. Um, so I just. Uh, Again, you know, being one of the last to speak, you always get a, you know, to, to folks have already mentioned some of the things that you want to share. Um, the partnership um, in the future to have a paramedic unit operating out of here certainly is a benefit uh, to the citizens that live in Graysonville and Graysonville Volunteer Fire Department's first due call. Um, this, the members here have worked so hard, as they had mentioned over the years, for the fundraising efforts to make this come to fruition. Um, and I can honestly tell you that the citizens of the great county of Queen Anne's are so fortunate that we have volunteers, uh, fire service here in Queen Anne's County. Because if we had to go to a paid service, well, I shudder to think the cost to make that work. So we owe a great deal of gratitude to the volunteers that that volunteer their time. Um, we have career off, uh, career firefighters that work across the bridge, and then when they're home, instead of being with their families, they're they're volunteering here. So, it's a, a appreciated. Um, it, we recognize the sacrifices that you all make um, with the family time to be here, and and so the commissioners are appreciative. I know I speak for the other four. Um, when we say whatever there's anything that we can do to aid you guys, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, so on that, uh, I'll finish up. Um, I just want to say thank you to the, your, your efforts, not giving up on this cause to, um, to get to this point where we are today. And I'm looking forward to a ribbon cutting when it, it is all done. Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Andrew Breeding. I'm the general manager for Bob Breeding General Contractors, the design build contractor for the new Graysonville Volunteer Fire Department. We are proud to have been selected by Graysonville Fire Department to de deliver this project for them. Our company motto is born to build, which signifies that our team was born to do what we do, while also reflecting our core values uh, of treating our employees and customers like family. Being a family owned and operated company, I believe that this makes us a well suited match for a volunteer fire department whose members are like a big family. <clears throat> we are all in, in this together and we look forward to continue to building our relationship um, as we deliver this project for you. We believe it is important to take the time to celebrate major um, milestones and a groundbreaking is no exception. This moment signifies the start of construction for a project, but in reality, everyone has been working uh, together for years to get to this point. It has been a real pleasure working with Tom Sheehan and the rest of the building committee um, for the past four years. Our sales manager, Dave Gray, has put in countless hours 
of work, attending meetings, drawing plans, and really getting to know the fire department and their needs in order to give them a building that will serve them and the community for generations to come. And Tom Sheehan has been a real force for the fire department, driving this process forward, providing valuable management, leadership, and guidance along the way. I'd like to take a moment to recognize Dave and Tom for their efforts. <laughs> While we're here today to commemorate the start of this project, we do have a long road ahead of us until it's complete. We understand that this project is important for the fire department, the town of Graysonville, and Queen Anne's County, and we don't take that lightly. Through the rest of construction, we are committed to turning the building over to you on time and on budget, working safely and efficiently, and providing a quality product that we can all be proud of. Thank you all for being here today. Um, with that being said, let's break some ground. All right, thank you. Kept it short and sweet for everyone. Once again, I want to thank everyone, all our donors, for the generous uh, donations you've given us. Bob Breeding Contractors for working through this with us. Uh, I think I forgot to mention Queenstown Bank earlier, who has supported us for decades. I mean, they've been great to us the whole time. Uh, I see the whole board's here and the president, so thanks for coming. Uh, and our membership. And as most of us know, we're, we're only halfway through the process. Um, so we still got a long road ahead, but thanks for coming out. Um, there's lunch inside the uh, new building. Like everyone walk in, there's some plans on the table if you'd like to look around uh, and look at the first stage of our building process now that it's complete. All right, thank you. <laughs>